medical grade maggots had effectively finished debriding the infection in this horse's foot. It was now time to fit a hospital plate. Although I had made many traditional hospital plates in the past, this was my first time crafting a low profile version. The equine hospital that I work with requested it to aid a horse so it could resume its rehab for a hind leg injury. I thoroughly enjoyed working on this case, so let's dive into building this low profile hospital plate shoe. I started by doing a heavy punch on the inner rim of this Avanti shoe. After shaping the shoe, I cut a piece of quarter by one inch bar stock to fit between the heels. I then put a chamfer or bevel on the end of the bar stock so that the weld could fill in the groove nicely. Once you have finished welding in the bar, then go ahead and clean up your welds with the grinder. Make sure you have a nice square edge between the heels and the bar stock so that your plate can sit flat against it. I then used some 3M adhesive to spray on the heels of the shoe so I could attach a piece of paper to the shoe and it would not move around. You can now do a rubbing or an imprint of the inner rim of the Avanti shoe. This will end up giving you the template for your plate. Spray a small amount of 3M adhesive on the paper. This will hold the template in place against the aluminium plate. You could use some tape, but I find the adhesive works best. Once your plate is cut roughly to size, draw a line so it's easy to see where your relief cuts need to end. I do this so then when I start cutting along the template line, it is easy to stay along the curve of the plate. I then use a grinder to fine tune any aspects of the plate that are a little bit coarse. Hammering the plate into the center of the shoe will show you where there's any excess material that needs to be removed. It should now fit pretty snug between the inner rims of the Avanti shoe. We are now ready to drill and tap the shoe and plate. I chose to do just two holes for this shoe, however I used three holes with the shoe that I nailed on the horse. I used a quarter inch tap and a 13 64th inch drill bit. The closer you drill the hole on the inner rim of the shoe will give you more options with breakover when you go to install the plate. Countersink each hole, this way it will be easy to start your screws once you have tapped the shoe. I'm using a quick connect impact chuck on my impact driver to tap holes. This handy attachment from Home Depot makes tapping fast and easy. I used a 13 64 center punch to mark where I need to drill the holes for my plate. And then I used a quarter inch drill bit. This was slightly larger than the screw that I was going to be using to attach the plate to the shoe. Countersink the holes so that the screw can sit flush against the hospital plate. Next we're going to roll the toe of the plate so that it can match the break over the shoe. I'm also going to roll the back of my plate by the heels so that the landing is slightly softened. Fine tune the plate and get rid of any sharp edges. So here we are. We have a low profile hospital plate that allows us to have some leverage reduction in our shoe. We were a bit concerned when we finished that this could be a little bit slippery. So I added some screws to the plate to help with some traction. You could also use some carbide tungsten pins. I found this particular case to be really enjoyable. I hope this has inspired you to look at hospital plates in a different way. That's all for now. Thank you for joining me. Cheerio.